Hi everybody, today I will show you how to edit single product page in WooCommerce Elementor. So let's just begin. Alright, so to edit the product page, first of all, we need to have the WooCommerce website and after that we also need the Elementor and then we need to install a plugin. So let's go inside the add new plugin. And from here, I will simply search for Woo Lenter. Okay, so as you can see here, we have this shop lenter. So we have to install this plugin. All right. So with the help of this plugin, we can actually edit our product page. So let's click on the stall. Click on the activate. All right, so now let's go inside the WooCommerce template. And as you can see that we have the single product template. We have the product show page template and we also have the product archive page template. But right now we'll simply focus on the single product template. Okay. So as you can see that we actually don't have any template. So what can we do is that we can go inside the templates and click on the save templates. And we'll simply start creating the new template here. So let's click on the add new. And this would be page. Now let's just write down the name of the template here. So that would be single product page. And let's just write down customize in the brackets. Okay, so now let's just click on the create template. All right, so now you can see that we are inside the Elementor editor. And now we will start building our product page. Okay. All right. So to access the elements of the Woo Lenter, we'll simply write down WL. Now you will be able to see that we only see the Woo Lenter elements at the top of the search. So we have the universal product layout. We have the product tab. We have the ad banner. We have the special day offer, store features, image marker. We have FAQ, category grid. And you can also see the bunch of different options here of the Woo Lenter. Alright, so in this video, I'll be actually focusing on the features of the Woo Lenter rather than the design of our product page. Okay, so you can simply design it however you want, but we will be mainly exploring the features of the Woo Lenter. Okay, so first of all, I would actually like to have the two column structure here. So this would be it. So the first thing that I would like to have the title. Okay, so let's just write down WL. Okay, so now let's search for the title here, product title. Okay, so as you can see this, we have this product title. So let's drag this and put this here. So in the product title, we actually have the title of the product. So we can also change the HTML tag of the title here. Okay, so I think I will stick with the H2 here. And we can also change the styling of our product title from here. Okay, so we have the title color, we have the typography, we have the margin, we have the alignment. So we can simply play around with these values here and we also have the advanced settings. So you can change the value of the margin pairing of the layout. So now I would actually like to have the product image. So let's just write down WL and you can see the product image here. So I simply drag this and put this here. Okay, so now you can see this, we have the image and in the image, we have the border type. So we can add the border radius as well and the margin. And we also have the thumbnails here. So in the thumbnails, we can do the same thing with the border type and the border radius. Okay, so if I just click on the advance, we can set the margin and the padding value to the layout of our product image. All right. So let's just go back. And now what we need to do, I would actually like to have a short description of our product. All right, so let's just look for the short description here. Okay, so you can see this, we have the short description and we also have this product description and we have the product additional information. So right now let's just go with the short description here and put this here. Okay, so since our product doesn't have any description, that is why we are having this dummy text. So we can change the alignment, we can change the text color and we can change the typography here. And you can also explore the other options here. So let's just write down WL and you can see this we have a lot of the different options here. Okay, so one thing that I wanted to add is the breadcrumb. So I will simply drag this and put this before our product title. 
and this would add the bread come for our product okay so if you want to change the separator icon you can simply do it from here and if you want to customize or style the bread come you can simply do it from here okay so now let's try to add the add to cart all right so you can see this uh, we have this add to cart here of the wool lender so let's just drag this and put this here okay so we have our add to cart now so we can change the layout here so we have the different layouts here so we have the layout one two three and four so let's just go with the layout one here and try to use the layout two okay so this is looking fine i really like this layout here and we can also customize add to cart as well okay so in the customization we have the label we have the typography we have the quantity number and quantity text color all right so we have the border type radius and font size so you can change the font size as well from here uh, you can also customize the button so in the button we have the different options hide wishlist hide compare and we also have the color font size and space between in the last we have add to card so in the add to card you can actually add the padding margin and the border type and the border size and you can also change the background color of your add to card button in the similar way we can also explore the other options as well all right so let's we'll just try to have the product description okay so now you can see this we have a bunch of different options here so we have the brand logo we have the product accordion and we have the archive title we have the customer review and you can see this we have the call for price okay so let's just try to go with customer review here so let's drag this and put this here okay so now you can see this we have the customer review here so in the customer review you can actually add the item or you can actually add the review here you can add the name of the customer and inside that you can simply add the review so let's click on the peter here and now you can see this we can change the name uh, we can change the destination we can add the image if you want to we can change the value of the client rating and in the last we can add the client review here as well okay if i just click on the options here so in the options we have the space bottom space and no gutters and we also have the number of the columns so if you want to see the one review you simply click here if you want to see the four reviews all together you simply click here and if you want to go beyond that you can see the other options here but right now we can see this we have the three column structure for our customer reviews so this is how you can play around with the customer review element of the woo lantern all right so let's just write down woo lantern here and just try to add the faq okay so let's just drag this and put this underneath the customer reviews okay so now you can see this we have this faq so in the faq you can actually add the content or add the question in the form of item so if you want to add a new question you simply click here and if you want to delete already existing question you can simply delete it from here and you can simply customize the content or the question as well so let's click here so you can see this we have this title so in the title you can simply write down the question and after that we have the content so in the content you can add the answer of that question in a similar way you can also see the other questions here as well so if you want to add a new question you simply click on the add item here okay so this is how it works so now let's just go back and let's just try to explore the other elements as well okay so one thing that you can see here that you can also add the product stock you can add the product rating you can add the product reviews and you can also add the product price so let's just try to add all of these things so first of all i would actually like to have the product price so I'll just put it here all right so in the similar way let's just try to have the product stock here after the price okay so you can see this we don't have stock availability for this product but it's okay you get the idea here in a similar way we can also add the product rating okay so let's try to have the product rating quickly okay so let's just drag this and put this here okay so you can see this we have the style so you can change the color of the star you can change the color of the link and you can also change the typography of the link so you get the idea here so in the last i would actually like to have the related products so let's write down 
wl and what we can do here okay so you can see the related products so we can add the related products and we can also add the product tab here as well okay but right now let's just try to add the related product let's just drag this and put this here okay so now you can see this we have the related products so in the related products you can see we have the products per age we can change the number of the columns we have the order by so you can order the products by date title price popularity rating random and menu order and we also have the heading okay so let's try to have the three column here okay so this is looking fine and you can also customize the related products as well all right so you can change the color of the heading you can change the typography of the heading okay so this is how it actually works and you can add the margin and we can also set the alignment here as well okay so i think we have explored the inner features of our woolander plugin okay so this is how we can customize or edit our product page obviously you can have the better design but you got the idea here so let's try to publish our template all right let's click on have a look all right so as you can see that this is our template but the template is actually not implemented on the product page so how can we do this so let's just go back to our dashboard and what we need to do we need to go inside the shop lender so now what we need to do we have to select the template for our single product template so you can see this we have created the template here so that is the single product page so let's click here and let's just click on the save changes all right so now let's try to go inside any product here all right so now let's click on the view product all right so now you can see our customized product page here so you can see this we have the title we have the price we have the product image we have the reviews and we have this faq and we also have this related products so this is how we can add it our product page in the woocommerce if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel